So if we're if if we think or want to find simple life in our solar system, where do we need to look and what do we need to look for? Well, I mean, life on Earth is based on complicated carbon compounds yep. dissolved in water. Okay. Yep. So and um, both carbon and water are among the most common elements. Yep. So it seems not unreasonable that you should look for hydrocarbons and water elsewhere. And so this is kind of why we look for and talk about even exoplanets that potentially have carbon and water, because that's what we need, so it's a start. Now, maybe that's us being a bit chauvinistic. Yep. Um, and maybe life elsewhere could survive on something else. That being said, carbon chemistry dissolved in water is an incredibly good place to produce life because it's very, very complicated. Yep. And there are very few solvents or anything like as good as water for having complicated hydrocarbons inside them. Um, and there are very few other elements that have as rich a chemistry as carbon. Okay. So the basic idea is you know, and carbon and water are going to be everywhere. Yep. So basically the, the, the scarce thing is going to be liquid water. Okay. It's very hard to have yeah, a cell yeah, with yeah. frozen water inside it or a water vapour. Yep. I mean, maybe you could have life forms made of magnetic fields or with methane bloodstreams or something like this. But the thing we know about in the most likely form of life seems to be liquid water with hydrocarbons in it. And again, that's because we see it on Earth, we know how it works, so we also have to start somewhere, right? You can come up with all sorts of fanciful ideas of combinations, but then where do you begin? Yeah, I mean, people have thought about maybe silicon-based yeah. life forms, but silicon isn't quite as rich a chemistry as carbon. Um, and there's also maybe some thought about maybe dissolving things in you know, methane yep. or ethane like on Titan. But at those low temperatures, the chemical reaction is going to go really slowly. Mm. So evolution, which has already taken 4 billion years... It's going to take even longer. Yeah. ...might take 400 billion years. <laughs> so probably liquid water is our best bet. And that really limits us, because most of the solar system does not have liquid water. That's right. So the place most people think about is Mars. Yep. And on the surface of Mars, nowadays, ain't no water, liquid water. No. Um, but we know, as we talked yep. about in the past, that Mars at one point was warm and wet. And we see evidence of lakes and deltas and river right. channels. So maybe, and we know that on Earth life got going really early. Yep. So maybe life got going on Mars so, yeah, I mean, very early as well, four billion years ago, back in the Noatian and Hesperian periods you talked about. And what if it just was kind of, because there's not a lot of water, just kind of hanging out, you know, and not doing yeah, much? Yeah, so you've got some sort of microorganisms that got going, uh, and then... It froze, yep. but it's still liquid a few metres down. That's right. And so maybe the life forms are still there, not on the surface, but a little bit down. Okay. Anyone left on the surface would have been desiccated out, though I guess all the rover pilots are hoping they'd find some stromatolite fossils. I mean, that would be the... The, the holy grail right now of that. Uh, nothing like that has been seen yet, no. uh, but that would be very exciting. Yep. So if there is life on Mars, it's microorganisms that got going evolutionarily, back four billion years ago when there was liquid water on the surface and has now moved to live in pores or underground pockets of water um, somewhere below the surface. So I guess the question is, can it survive kind of being frozen? Well, if you go down enough, it doesn't need to be frozen. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So we're talking, not talking about the surface layers. Yeah, yeah. We're just talking about a little bit down. All right. I mean, it could get ones that get frozen and then defrosted every time to time. And that happens. There are many species on Earth that can survive that. Yep. Okay. Uh, maybe the very primitive species. Because um, evolution presumably has slowed down dramatically if you're now just stuck in tiny pores below the surface with no light or anything like that to go on. Yep. But it could still be there. And there was, sort of decades ago, a claim detection. People were looking in great detail at one of these meteorites that's been blown from Mars to the Earth. And they saw, I don't know what you call these, but they thought they looked maybe like microscopic life forms. And this landed in Antarctica, right? That's right. I mean, meteorites land all over the Earth, but they're easier to spot in Antarctica because they're not mixed in with all the other rocks. And pretty easy to see a dark rock on a white surface. Yeah, and so people claimed that the, if you look at the detailed chemistry, this is consistent with being life, and they claimed nothing else, and they claimed these tiny structures may have been fossilised microbes. Yep. The trouble is it's actually much smaller than microbes on Earth. Ooh, okay. Um, and I think most people think it's probably not evidence for life. It's That's probably right. just some strange chemical, natural chemical reaction. But maybe it is. But, I mean, the community is... Uh... The people who've analysed this are standing by their yes. theory. But most people have not been convinced. And I think, again, it's partially... 
you know, if we're going to say we found life, you want very clear, strong, undoubting evidence that it is not maybe. Yeah. And that's probably going to come with much better sample returns yep. from Mars or even better humans on Mars or robots drilling. Down in uh, the, yep. Uh, so that would be the really exciting thing to see on Mars. Um, is it there? If it is, it's underground and it's not showing major signs, but if it's underground, it probably wouldn't show major signs. So there could be a, a flourishing biosphere 10 meters below the surface on Mars. And how would we know? Yeah, I mean, you, as you said, until you really get there digging, exploring, we could just be completely fooled into thinking uh, nothing's there. I mean, this has happened on Earth as well. That's right. I mean, we live in hope. It might be that uh, tomorrow a press conference will come from the uh, Perseverance <laughs> rover team and they'll say, look what we found, satellites, um, in which case we we'll have to refilm this video. Yes, hopefully they leave a few years before that happens, but I do hope it happens sometime.